Third round action from the 2015 NCAA Tournament from Columbus, Ohio. First game of the day involved Dayton and Oklahoma and the Sooners advance to the Sweet 16 where they will play Michigan State in Syracuse. Hi everybody, Ian Eagle along with Doug Gottlieb. Dayton had become a huge story, not just what they did last year in the Elite Eight, but the fact that they were able to duplicate some of that magic this year. Questions, when would they run out of gas? This was the night where they ran out of gas against a very good Sooners team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sputtered a little bit. They had a nine-point lead with 13-13 to go. But then Oklahoma just decided, you know what, we're going to show what we've been proved on from last year to this year. They played tremendous defense. And I was really impressed by Buddy Heald. He's the Big 12 Player of the Year, but he's known as more of a sh just a jump shooter. He did more than just shoot perimeter jump shots. He hit him early, but after that, made a couple of incredible plays defensively. He drove the basketball. He was active at both ends, attacking the glass. And the Sooners survived, really. They survived Dayton yeah. and were able to separate just at the end based upon free throw shooting. So another trip to the Sweet 16 for Lon Kruger. He's done it with four different programs. In the night session, highly anticipated matchup between Maryland and West Virginia. The style that West Virginia plays wreaking havoc and Maryland fell victim to it. They lost their starting point guard, Mello Trimble, in the second half. And really at that point, you knew that the Terps were not going to be able to make up the deficit. I thought Maryland had a great game plan, and I thought for the most part they executed it. Too many turnovers in the first half. Heck, they had 17 turnovers when he left with injury. But you end up with 23 turnovers. If you haven't seen West Virginia play, today was basically symbolic of the entire season. They caused those turnovers of which are on steals, plus they dominated the offensive rebounding as well. And th they just they make you play their style. You can beat them. You can make shots. You can, you can get putbacks. You can get to the foul line and make free throws. But you're going to have to beat them at their style. And they go 13 deep. They're every broadcaster's nightmare and <laughs> every coach's nightmare. Kentucky, work on your press bake. Work on your box outs. And believe me, West Virginia, you can beat them but you're going to have to beat them. They won't beat themselves. John Calipari and Bob Huggins will meet once again in the NCAA tournament. Kentucky's undefeated. You know that West Virginia is going to come up with a game plan to try to take the Wildcats out of their game. That's a wrap here in Columbus. Sweet 16 is coming up in the 2015 NCAA Basketball Championship.